Hey Geeks, it's Jim at MajorGeeks.com coming to you today to talk about the new Bing Discover button that you'll find in the upper right hand corner of your Edge browser when you update if you haven't already. This is Microsoft's uh, answer to ChatGPT to integrate AI into their browser and as well as adding this sidebar with other icons like uh, shopping or in this place uh, calculator some games Microsoft 365 so it takes up this entire right side but when you hover over this discover button you'll see the options for that you would see with chat GPT uh, you can ask it a question you can compose a paragraph an email uh, create some AI content uh, which is nice. So if you're looking for that sort of thing and you're integrated into Microsoft 365, this might be something very nice for you. That's not something we use here at Major Geeks. And it takes up this whole right side. The other annoyance to me is every time I move to the right, it pops open the window. Uh, this becomes very distracting. There's no way to move this sidebar or delete this sidebar easily. And if it was down here to the bottom right or to the bottom left, I probably wouldn't mind. But we had to find a different way to remove it or change it. The only way to do that is through registry editing. And I will show you quickly how to accomplish that. If you're not familiar with registry editing or um, you just don't want to do it yourself. We also wrote the scripts to do it for you that you can just click and you can download it from the site and I'll put that in the description below. But you would open up, uh, real quickly, you would open up RegEdit and you want to navigate to HKey Local Machine Software and scroll down to Policies, then Microsoft. And here you just right click and create a new key. Right? And instead of new key one, we want to rename that to Edge. And just click off, and now you have that. Right? Now you right click on Edge and create a new D Word 32 bit value key. And you want to name that Hubs sidebar enabled and click enter now when you double click this you'll see that the value is set to zero and that's what you want so you're all done now you can just walk away however if you see it's still here on the sidebar it hasn't gone away if I restart my machine it will but the easier way to do that is to go and open up a new uh, address bar and type edge colon slash slash policy, which will bring up, you know, the policies for this. And you would click reload policies and you'll see it's gone or refresh is what I did there. Um, if you want to put it back, you just simply go to the hub sidebar enabled, put the value to one come back and reload your policies and you'll see it'll come back so if you want it gone it's zero if you want it there it's one uh, simple as that it's it's easy once you do it but again if you're not familiar with editing your registry or, or don't want to remember I'll link to the to the files in the description hope that saves you some trouble and I will see you next time thank you